So I've went ahead and reassembled the uh, Empower and <clears throat> Empower housing here, and uh, you can see the clearance on this Empower is, is very small, thirty thousandths. Uh, is what's recommended. Any more than that, you start to get a lot of cavitation, and uh, your pump really loses efficiency. But even after we've ground and, and kind of reshaped this housing, uh, you see that this impeller gets to a certain point here, and it just it sticks. It's stuck right now, and. Uh, You know, we could go ahead and grind that out a little more, get the clearance we need in there, and put this thing back together. But what's going to happen is, as soon as it gets in the water again, that corrosion that's growing in there between that stainless steel liner and the aluminum housing is going to go ahead and, and start pushing out on that liner again. And in a matter of a month, we'll have the same problem. This started out uh, when the gentleman went to start to ski it uh, clunked pretty loud a couple times and uh, after a few failed attempts at, at starting it uh, tore up the starter burn up the starter relay uh, needless to say this this thing gets actually gets pretty tight in here so uh, it's amazing it didn't rip some gears apart in that starter drive so we're going to go ahead and replace it with an aftermarket unit that has a plastic inner sleeve. If it fails again, it's a real easy fix. Just pull it off, change the sleeve, 35 hours, and away you go. Yamaha sells this part for about 340 uh, and it's prone to the same failure. So go ahead and get the aftermarket one and uh, save yourself a whole bunch of hassle down the road.